As a professor, my experience in AVTCs have been extremely valuable. I think the, the one common criticism with, with professors is they oftentimes don't have a good applied understanding of things. It's kind of the head in the clouds mentality and you just can't afford that if you've been through an AVTC. You've kind of been there, done that when it comes to automotive technology. I was with Ohio State University. Started with Future Car, I was very limited involvement there. I knew it was happening and I kind of helped out, turned some wrenches. And then I really got involved in Future Truck 1 and 2 and then uh, transitioned to more of an advisory role as a PhD student in Challenge X, and then later as a faculty advisor. Right now I'm a professor in mechanical engineering with Ohio State University. So that involves a uh, role of, of teaching, uh, conducting automotive research, as well as advising our EcoCar team. Through my experience on the EcoCar team, kind of having a mentoring role as a team leader, I kind of come around to the, the, uh, the value and seeing I had a passion for doing education and I uh, decided to, to stick with it and went for a PhD and then uh, turned into a uh, professor. Admittedly, I'm still not much of a gearhead, but I really grew a passion for the technology that's behind or under the hood of a car. So definitely without being involved in APTCs, I would not have chosen a career or a, a research field and being a faculty member that would be involved in automotive technology. AVTCs are really vital to our curriculum at OSU for certain. If I take a, a student that hasn't been through an experiential learning activity like an advanced vehicle technology competition and compare them to one that hasn't, the difference is night and day. I know employers see this and I know when they get on the job uh, that the students simply perform better than their counterparts who haven't had an experience like an advanced technology vehicle competition.